how Wolves deal with Mario Lamina, a midfielder, in their back four. Oh, and they could be tested here, right at the start of the game. Danger here. Oh, that's a challenge. The referee has pointed to the spot. Totti with a challenge, and Peter Banks had no hesitation as Totti brought down Evan Nielsen with barely a minute on the clock. Disastrous start for Wolves. Evan Nielsen strong running in behind that back line. We're just talking about Mario Lamina operating in that position. He gets caught out as the ball's over Mario Lamina's head. Totti has to cut across the penalty box to try and make the tackle. He lunges in. And as he does that, he brings down the Bournemouth front man. And looks to have given Bournemouth an early penalty. Well, we did wonder how the Wolves' defence was going to cope. We knew that Bournemouth would be positive, knowing it was a midfielder in the back four. They were looking there whether there might be a, a handball. And they're still checking, but it didn't seem to be a very obvious error by the referee, Peter Banks. The check is complete. It is a penalty to Bournemouth. As Totti Gomez goes into the book, and that means that he will miss the next game away at Everton on Wednesday night. But immediate problems for Wolves are there facing penalty here. And it's Clivert who steps up against Saar. Just the start that Bournemouth wanted, and it's just the start that Wolves were hoping to avoid. And here's that little stutter, it's enough. Slots it down the middle, cool and composed. Premier League experience himself, and Sars caught out here. Well, they're asking for another penalty. Referee Peter Banks not interested. And VAR are checking it, they always check for any potential fouls in the box. The Saar well, he didn't get the ball, did he? He didn't see Evan Nielsen coming. But he didn't get the ball and he did get the man, so they will be looking at that. Yeah, Wolves could be in a bit of bit of trouble. Jose Sarr doesn't see Evan Nielsen coming. The VAR have asked the referee Peter Banks to stop the game and Wolves are in big, big trouble here. As you can see... Jose Sarr kicked the back of Evan Nielsen's leg. He may not have known he was there, but that's not necessarily a factor, Dave. No, it's worrying the build-up as well. They never look comfortable building out from the back. And as it goes back to Jose Sarr, he doesn't see Evan Nielsen coming, completely unaware that he's going to get his toe on the ball, and then he kicks into the back of his left heel. It looks as though it's going to be a penalty to Bournemouth. Another penalty to Bournemouth. Jose Sarr costing his side this time. As confirmed over the PA address season here, system here at Molyneux. And Clivert, who scored against Arsenal from the penalty spot. He scored today against Wolves from the penalty spot. And he's looking to make it three and a three for the season. And this would be a big, big moment in the season for Bournemouth. Climate scores again. And Bournemouth are 3 1 up at Molyneux. The goals were such a problem for this side last season when Mateus Cunha got injured. Awful run at the back end of the campaign. Conceded by Jose Sarr on Evan Nielsen. Car crash football from Wolves, it really is. And this one, Jose Sarr, he has to go for the ball. Craig Dawson sold him short. Evan Nielsen on the front foot. Just needs a touch to get it past Sarr because he's committed. And as quickly as what Wolves have got a goal back.
They're giving Bournemouth an opportunity to take the game away from them once again. Well, Wolves have shot themselves in the foot again. Three penalties conceded at home in the same game. Two of them by the same player. But another defensive error, this time from the usually far more defendable Craig Dawson, fresh off the bench. He's fuming with himself. A definite penalty. Evan, Evan Nielsen catches Jose Sar after he's been brought down. Dawson gives Jose Sar a real problem with that back pass. And just at the moment where they managed to get the goal back, Molyneux is right behind the team. The atmosphere is really bubbling. And they give away an absolute gift of an opportunity now for Bournemouth to get that two-goal lead back. It's Justin Cliver for the hat-trick! What a day for Justin Cliver and what a day for Bournemouth after back-to-back -back league defeats. They're about to make it a hat-trick of victories at Molyneux. And Wolves have partly themselves to blame. Their unbeaten run in real danger. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host of NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And if you want even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock.